welcome to my kitchen. It's a little bit messy right now, as you'll see when we go a bit closer up, but we're gonna do today's video a little bit differently. Writing is a very important part of my life, and I wanna talk to you about why it's so important and what benefits it brings to my life. Also, when you've got a full-time job and other responsibilities, it can be really difficult to feel like you've got time for things. And whilst the weekends are normally the times that I would be filming videos and editing videos and even doing some writing, this weekend it's my niece's birthday party and I have other things I need to do around the house. Namely, I need to clean my kitchen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring you around my kitchen with me and I'm gonna clean and I'm gonna talk to you about what writing brings to my life. So the things that I need to do are I need to empty the dishwasher, I need to hand wash some of the dishes that are over there once I've loaded a few other things into the dishwasher. I need to empty our food waste bin into our countertop composter. I'm not gonna run that necessarily, but although I might because it's a sunny day and we use solar power, so I might take advantage of that. I need to clean the sink, I need to take out the recycling, and I need to do the worktops, and I need to try to do all of that in about 30 minutes. So let's not waste any time. I'm gonna get started on that. And in the meantime, I'll talk to you about the value that writing brings to my life. So the most obvious value that writing brings to my life is my royalties. I am a published author and I do get royalties from my books. Royalties are famously low. As a digital first author, under the type of contract that I have, I do actually get more royalties than some authors and that's because I didn't get an advance. So it is a bit of a trade-off because you don't get that sort of big bump at the beginning, that big reward for your work. And it does kind of all hinge on like the marketing and how well things do. I got really lucky that my book sold really well and still continues to sell. And I've got another book coming out later this week and it's a sequel to the first one. And so the pre-orders have been fairly strong. So I will have royalties. Royalties are not much though. I had a couple of really good months when my first book first came out, but since then I've had some months where it's as low as 50 pounds a month, which is about 60 to 65 dollars. Most of the time it's around 100 to 150 pounds a month, which is not nothing given that it's been like three and a half years since my first book came out. And I don't want to pretend that that's not helpful and really fortunate and I'm really lucky to have that, especially for just one book. But it's not exactly paying the bills. But I think it would be ridiculous for me to talk about the value that writing brings to my life and not mention the actual currency value that it is bringing to my life. So the second thing that my writing brings to my life is a creative outlet. I'm a big believer in the fact that we all have different types of energy and I'm someone who always has a lot of creative energy and I need outlets for that. In times of my life where I haven't been writing as much, I found myself hobby hopping quite a bit in terms of like crafting and things like that because I've needed an outlet for that creative energy. But for me, writing is absolutely the best outlet for that and I've noticed that in the way that I am when I am writing versus not writing. I feel really pent up and frustrated if I'm not writing and it's because that creative energy doesn't have anywhere to go. big things that are happening in my life. I put out a video recently about a friend breakup that I went through and how that was showing up in my writing, both in my writing practice and in the themes and characters that I was actually writing. And I find that that happens a lot. It's not like a substitute for therapy by any means, but it's certainly a way of processing some of the things that you're going through, even if it's in a very different situation that you've created. The fourth thing is community. Now I work from home and I don't drive, so I can be quite isolated on a day-to-day -day basis. Not that I'm necessarily lonely, of course that happens sometimes, and I think writing is inherently quite a lonely experience sometimes, but 
I've actually found a lot of really good community through books and writing, specifically through my writing group that I'm a part of. I have people in my writing group that I talk to more than like close colleagues at work because we're seeing each other every single day on writing sprints. And we're talking about things that are important to us and sort of philosophical and existential things that we're incorporating into our writing because it's relevant to the work that we're doing together. And I think that that's so fun. Sorry about the tripod, but I didn't want to move it because I'm gonna need to talk to you at the end as well. <laughs> So like I said, we have a countertop composter, which means essentially that it takes our food waste scraps and turns into, I mean, it calls it finished compost, but it's really more of like a pre-compost, but I have a really bad ick around the compost heap. And so this helps me put it in in a state that makes it less likely that like flies and maggots and stuff might be attracted to it. And so it makes it a lot more tolerable for me to do. And on sunny days like today, I can pretty much run it for free because it runs off the solar power. So this is the barrel slash grinder bit for the Lomi. And I just need to empty our food waste bin into that. The fifth thing that writing gives to me is actually a new appreciation for reading. I find that the stories that I'm reading mean more to me when I know what it's like to create them. That doesn't make me enjoy them more necessarily. If anything, it might make me a bit more critical of them from time to time, but it just gives me a new appreciation for what it takes to do something like that and to craft something like that. And given that reading has been a passion of mine since I was really young, that's a really fun sort of value add for me that it gets to enhance that experience as well. So we're all filled up here and I'm gonna go put this on. Okay, so that is on. Now it's time to do a bit of hand washing and we are getting really close to needing to leave. So this might be the last thing I get to do before we go. The sixth thing that writing gives me in my life is goals. Now I am not a naturally super ambitious person. I've never wanted to be a billionaire or president or anything like that. Like my absolute ambition in life is to be a garden gnome. And so I have sometimes found it really hard to set goals for myself. I think that the principles in Atomic Habits of instead identifying identities that you want sort of resonates more with me. Sometimes I just really want to practice things and try things and like a goal rhetoric doesn't really lend itself to that. So what I like about writing is that it gives me a way to like set goals that aren't related to like ambition. They're related to other things that are important to me like creative output. So I can say my goal is to finish this book. It's not my goal to become a full-time author or to make a certain amount of money or sell a certain number of copies because a lot of that is so far out of my control. Instead, it's just about the writing. It's about what am I doing and what is that practice doing for my life, which is all of these things we've just been talking about. So that ability to set goals that I think more align with the way that I am and the way that I want to be is something really valuable for me. The last thing that I want to talk about that writing brings to my life is routine. I am someone that internally can really rebel against routine if it doesn't feel like really intentionally crafted to what I want to do and achieve, but it is really good for me when I do it and writing gives me that routine. So I usually write at the same time every day, at least on weekdays. And that means that my brain has an easier time engaging in the writing practice because it knows what to expect. It gives me something to look forward to throughout the day. And it just gives me that nice rhythm that sort of fuels the creative practice. Didn't quite get there in the end. Still got a sink full of dishes that need to be hand washed. I did do a quick wipe to the surfaces because they were pretty grotty, but they still need more of a clean. The cooktop needs to be wiped. But you know what? 
That's real life. Sometimes you leave dishes in the sink and have to go do other things and that's okay. It's imperfect, but that doesn't mean you've done a bad job. And sometimes that routine is all about balance. So that's me done. I need to go finish getting ready for my niece's birthday party, but thank you for joining me as we clean the kitchen. And who knows, maybe next time we'll get all of the chores done. <laughs> Let me know if you like this video format in the comments. Certainly would make my life easier if I could multitask my video recording and chores at the same time. Although I will be honest, it took me a lot longer to do all of this than it would have been if I hadn't been talking to you at the same time. And the summer wedding in Santorini is out this week, Thursday the 2nd of March 2023. So if you haven't already, please head to the links in the description to check that out. Either pre-order it if you're watching this when it comes out or order it if you're watching it later on. And don't forget to hit subscribe. I've got lots more videos coming your way, not just about the book that I've just put out and I will be sharing a lot more about how that book does, but also just about creative practice in general. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.